All praises unto Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, double honors to the apostles of GMS, honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Alright, this is going to be a quick video, basically on the topic that you got out there, as uh, as you've seen it out there, in the, um, here, basically, alright, <laughs> it says, pretty much, Obama today will ask Cameron, and the EU for support in war against Russia. Okay, so the rhetoric has changed. All right, now it's not Russian aggression. Okay, it's not um, uh, stopping the Russians' uh, uh, movement. You know, within Europe, now they're talking about an all-out war against Russia. Now, I did a video not too long back ago, basically talking on the on the same tip, on the same topic. All right, and it was on uh, dealing with what can you know what is defined as as a so-called world war all right now what nato defines as a so-called world war right is when you have five more countries dealing with a situation and they all involved within the same region which is the same situation that you have out there within the land that you know is syria all right now what's going to happen is you're going to have it to where you know esau right starting for the americans is going to get together all right and the Soviet, the old Soviet Union is going to get together and they're going to have a war. That's that's spoken about within the scriptures, all right? Now, this article is going to get into some of that, all right? And, you know, I'll extrapolate on some of the points they're going to make, right? Some of it is going to be propaganda. We know that, you know, that's, that's the way ESO rolls. If it's out there in the mainstream, then you better believe there's going to be some kind of propaganda within it. So I'm going to do my best to dissect, you know, some of that propaganda that you're going to have within that. But ultimately... The point really is hit within the title of this, and I guess that should be letting you know what kind of spirit that we're getting into right now, all right? What kind of times that we're living in right now, okay? Because we're in the times, we're in the highest, he's going to send his son, and he's going to redeem his elect, all right? He's going to redeem his, his remnant, right, that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth by way of the truth, by way of the unicorn, which is the internet, which some people don't like that statement, okay? All right? But they're gonna have the most is gonna have it to where those are gonna be redeemed. So what when this destruction takes place, all right, when these missiles come about, all right, when uh, um all of these when what Yahushai said when he was uh talking to the disciple on the Mount Olive, all right, when he said, You ain't gonna be one stone left upon another, shall be fulfilled. What the most I said within the book book of Malachi, the first chapter on the fourth verse, where he said they shall build. In other words, they built up America, they built up all of the, you know, Europe and so on and so forth. They was going to build that, but the Lord was going to come back and he was going to destroy it because they are the people of whom the Lord's indignation is forever. Okay, now they've got this puppet guy out here who is really a, a deceiver unto the vast majority of the people out there because they he's percep the perception of this individual is that he's a man of color. But the elites that pull his strings, those are Edomites, man. Okay, so it says breaking. Obama told, uh, will ask, uh, sorry, Obama today will ask Cameron and EU supporters in war against Russia. Is Obama trying to cling on to power of pres the power of presidencies for as long as possible since he cannot be removed from office during the major conflict? Now that's within the legislation. Excuse me, I'll click that away. That's w that's even within the legislation of how the presidency works. See, if he gets into a a major war or major conflict during his tenure okay before his tenure is is um is is over then he's pretty much stays in, in in presidency but see that's not exactly what's going on see he's not going to be the one that's going to be making the final decision to that the elite banking family is going to be the ones that are making the final decision to who fund his uh who fund his um adventures if you will man who fund his uh you know that's not really even his agendas man those are all the agendas of the elite banking families this man is a puppet all right he's an actor if you will all right and he's playing in the he's playing the role of being the devil's advocate okay he's playing the role of being the devil's uh, a, a puppet which would be an even better way of putting it all right so it says oh is obama trying to cling on to power for off is obama trying to cling on to power of presidency for as long as possible since he cannot be removed from offices during a major conflict and the answer is no right but if the elites want him to stay in that position during a major conflict they will do so okay right and it says reports are coming from the german economic economic news station that on the 25th of april which is a couple of days ago the u.s president will be holding a summit meeting in hanover germany which with the leader 
uh, with leaders Angela Merkel, uh, Matteo Renzi, and Francisco Hollandi and David Cameron. Right. The presumed objectives of this meeting is to establish in NATO's, NATO's countries bordering on Russia a military force of all five countries. OK, so, you know, you're talking about some major powers, some major nuclear powers within NATO. He wants to, you know, he wants to um, put all of those major forces and he wants them to come up against Russia. OK, and that's spoken about within the scriptures when you go into the book of Joel, the third chapter. How the Mosai is going to summon those the the um the individuals that are going to take part within this World War Three, okay? He's going to put the spirit within them to come over there, and they're going they're going to get to war, man. They're going to get to killing each other, in other words, man. So you know, there's no other way to put it. There's no nicer way to put it. They're going to get to killing each other because their their objective, which is to set the so-called new world order up, is not going to be achieved. All they're doing is curving the path. For a righteous new world order to be established, which is going to be established by way of Yahweh Shimei Shai, right? Which is the son of Yahweh, all right? And he's going to do that using his not only his men, because we're going to be the ones that we're the ones that are pushing out this work. We're doing that really by the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai. So that that all goes back to his honor, to his glory. So he's going to be the one that's going to be doing it, man. He's the one that's pushing this thing forward, man. Okay? Don't forget the scripture saying in the book of Acts, if this thing was of men, it will come to naught. But because it is of the most high, how about Shimei Shai, all right? Because it is of the most high, this thing ain't going to come to know, all right? It ain't going to come to know. So we push out this, these videos, right, telling you that this destruction is coming to pass. And here's the evidence. Here's the scriptural evidence. And here is the um, the media evidence, if you will, the the um, the uh, uh, news-based evidence, right, to prove what the scripture is saying, all right? Here's the here's the evidence of that. All right. And that's what's going to happen out here. All right. But see, you got it to wear individuals. And that's why they made this statement over here. That I actually believe that this is, you know, instigated by Obama. This is instigated by 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 these different presidents out there. And they're going to, you know, work, work their way to have. Well, no, this is instigated by the elite banking families whose angle is to, you know, to objectively implement a so-called new world order, man. Where if they're going to, you're going to be, you know. Hey, you can watch movies like Equilibrium, and you can you get get a good understanding of what what I'm talking about, which is a good movie to watch, man. All right, the book the, it's an underrated movie, Equilibrium, but that's pretty much what the elites are trying to set up upon the face of the planet, man. But see, that's against the scriptures because their spiritual um uh um because everybody's spiritual, everybody needs a sense of getting power from a, a higher spirit. Their spiritual uh their spiritual side of them, you know. It, it circulates around Satan, and that's against the scriptures, man. All right, see, the Most High is going to have it to where our new world order is going to be circulating around him. Therefore, we're going to be, that's why the scripture also says in, in, in the book of Isaiah, how the nations are going to come to us because we're going to be teaching them our laws, man. So it's going to be, you know, going around, uh, 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 brother, brother Mo, going around is not really a, 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 the best way to say it. Really, it's going to be about your house side and your how I and how side and the Lord, his Lord's statute commandments, man. And that's going to be the establishment where righteousness is going to be a good thing, man. All right? Because in this society, you get into the scriptures, hey, you're a terrorist. All right? You are, uh, uh, um, you are, uh, hey, people, pe people stop dealing with you, man. Because you're seen as a madman. Because why? Because this kingdom's all about wickedness, man. And that's why you got it to where the most high summoning all of these nations up to come up and, and to go to war with each other, man. All right? So I'm going to read a few more statements. But like I said, the point has been really hit. And really, these are the, the you know these are the countries where with they're gonna make a, a and and they already got a, um they already got what you know as garrisons which is just um military um uh, um like 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 you might have a, a thousand troops over there you know a hundred troops whatever right this is military bases along these ones but it's not per permanent military bases they might have just set up camp there they're camps so to speak man Esau's camps camps in wickedness man. All right, so they got camps all, all, you know, military camps all the way along Russia's borders, man. Because these are all, uh, um, these are all what you know as EU states. All right, if you live in any, live in any one of these countries, you can, you know, with an EU passport or a passport from whatever these countries, you can move freely within that region. All right, but this is Russia over here, and they got it to where they got, uh, 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 um, military camps all the way down here, man. Okay. So let me, like I said, let me read this last bit in here. You know, the point's been made. All right. 
It says the media recently stated that Russia simulated an air attack on U.S. naval ships, but failed to show how close they were uh, they were to Russian territory. And you know they've been bringing up that point a lot because what they what happened was with that flyover that they was making a big deal about, which was the so-called Russian aggression, was the fact that they had an American ship here within the Baltic Sea. Here is Russia. Let me say that again for the hard-headed. Got a military ship here. Here's Russia, U.S. ship. Who's instigating the aggression? It's going to be the Americans. So you got territory to protect. You're going to send some ships. You're going to send your your um. You're going to send your warplanes over there to to do what? To deter them from coming into your territory. Okay. Now that's why you got it to where now they they're going to use that as the leverage, right? The plausible deniability to where if they can go up into there. And, and you can see from the statement here, Obama today will ask Cameron the e and uh, and the EU for support in war war against Russia, not Russian aggression, against war against Russia. And, and you know a conflict as such of which Putin has been trying to back out of for the, for the longest is going is going to be um, cataclysmic, man. Which is what is spoken about within the scriptures. Okay, all right. What's going on here? Is what's spoken about within the scriptures, the book of Revelations, the 18th chapter, all right, Isaiah the 24th chapter, Isaiah the 13th chapter, Joel the third chapter, all right, all of them scriptures are talking about exactly and it's playing out exactly, right, damn near word for word, how the scripture prescribes it, how the most I was gonna put hooks within jo the Russia's jaws because the Russia really don't want it, man. But the most I was having it to where they're gonna be drug dragged into it, and America's right there just waiting. For it, man, because the most sides put that pride within them, all right. And we know it. What we know about this, what does the scripture say about pride? The scripture says that uh, um, pride goes for before destruction, man. And it's a proud to say this country, which is where, which is where I based my ship, is causing us aggression because we're in their region here and they should be able to leave us alone. That's pride, man. all right. So let's read this a little bit more. It says the prospect uh, of a war with Russia looms as the e EU. And the Americans push to try and gain a closer relationship with the Ukraine. Who, as who, if and when became members of the EU, will be able to accommodate Western armies and nuclear warheads on Russia's doorstep. So that gets that gets you to understanding why you had that uh, skirmish within um, within Ukraine. Because really, if Ukraine became a NATO member state, they can put their uh, weaponry over there, right? On, and that's convenient, man. That's gonna be more convenient than them. Them putting a the ship over there. Why have a ships over there when we don't even have to be there? All right, you know, we we don't even have to be in this region. We just leave some nukes over there, man. All right. So you know, you, you get the gist of what's going on out here. See if there's any more juicy bits within this, All right? Um. But pretty much, you get like I said, you get the gist. Okay, these are good articles to get into. All right, I advocate anybody, you know, all your brothers to get into these articles and you get, you know, get a feel of what's going on out there. So with that, I'm going to say, oh, praise unto you, by Shimei Al-Shai, double honesty, apostles of GMS, honesty brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.